this is wow this is been this scene now like this is amazing if you want to know how i did this brain booster smoothie for kids keep watching this video hey guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel hey now are you guys doing on today's recipe guys i'll be showing you all how to make a simple healthy smoothie for kids this recipe is a very nice recipe and is a kind of a brain booster and immune system booster recipe this recipe is very nice for our kids health it's very nice for their brain and it's very nice for their immune system so yeah guys these are all the ingredients i'll be using to make this recipe the first ingredient on my list today is the that fruit this fruit is medicinal so guys the next on my list on this recipe is orange so please make sure to add orange to their smoothie it is very healthy and it's indeed a great additive you can you can always and must add to their smoothie okay so the third ingredient for this recipe is my overripe banana. Like I said on my last video, overripe banana is very good. It contains a whole lot of vitamins. It's very rich and it tastes indeed amazing. So if you've got the overripe banana, it is very perfect to make smoothie for your kids. Banana is indeed a great fruit and we all know the potential banana has. Banana is highly loaded and full of nutrients like potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, folate, vitamin B6, etc. So you see, it is very nice and it is very advisable to add banana to your kids smoothie. This is very vital to their heads, okay? So banana is the third ingredient I'll be using for this recipe. So the next ingredient I'll be using on today's recipe is my avocado. Avocado are very very nice when added to our kids smoothie. Avocado fruit is combined with lots of health benefits. This can give our kids lots of nutritional benefits such as vitamin C, magnesium, folate and vitamin K. Avocado is an essential nutrient that supports healthy growth and bone health and it helps to support our kids immune system. So you see, avocado is very essential when added to our kids' smoothie. So this is the fourth ingredient I'll be using for this recipe. Next on my list is the kiwi fruit. Most kids love kiwi fruits. Kiwi fruit is a great fruit. It is a super fruit packed with vital nutrients such as vitamin K, C, and vitamin E. So this adds benefits are the reasons why it is advisable to add kiwi to their daily smoothie routine. So the next ingredient on my list is pineapple. We all know pineapple is a great source of vitamin C, which helps to boost the immune system. Pineapple is very nice when added to our kids' smoothie. So guys, please make sure to always add pineapple to your kids' smoothie. This is very good and very vital to their heads in general. The next on my list is peanut butter. We all know the great potentials this peanut butter contains. So the next ingredient I'll be using on this recipe is my soya milk. You can omit this part. You can as well use the almond milk or you can use a regular milk or better still, you can go ahead to mix with water, okay? So guys, these are all the ingredients we'll be needing to make this brain booster smoothie for our kids. And trust me guys, those ingredients are very nice. They contain lots of great health potentials. Those ingredients are very nice when combined together to make smoothie for our kids. It's very nice. It boosts their immune system. It's a brain booster recipe as well. It is very good for their health in general. These ingredients are all great ingredients when combined together to make smoothie for our kids. It contains lots and various health potential benefits to our kids. This can boost their immune system and of course it's a great brain booster smoothie recipe. So yeah guys, without no further ado, let's move on to the next step of this video. So as you can see, I've cut and diced my ingredients into smaller sections. So here is my kiwi, my orange, 
my pineapple. Here is my dark fruit. Seeds are being removed, all washed and clean. So the first thing I'll be doing is to get my overripe banana. If you ain't putting on a glove, make sure to work with a clean hand, okay? Make sure to wash your hand before doing this. So after putting in my overripe banana into my blender, next is to add my cube. Next is to add my orange. So for my orange, I cut, diced and remove all seeds. Make sure to remove the seeds from your orange, okay? So I'll be adding my pineapple. Next is to add my dark fruit. Next is to add my avocado. So next, so next is to add my granite butter and i'll be adding a tablespoon of my granite so next is to add my soya milk so you can use any milk of your choice okay so i'll be adding one cup full of my soya milk as not to have a very thick consistency, I'm going to add a cup of water. After blending, this is what it looks like. So. This is what it looks like and trust me, this is yummy, yummy, yummy. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is what it looks like and of course you can put this in the fridge. You can let it sit in the fridge for two or three days and please, not more than three days, okay? So, voila, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Hope you find this video interesting helpful and useful if you do give it a huge huge thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all on my next one until then guys peace and love bye, -bye.